The poems to come are for you and for me, and are not for most people. It's no use trying to pretend that most people and ourselves are alike. Most people have less in common with ourselves than the square root of minus one. You and I are human beings. Most people are snobs. Take the matter of being born. What does being born mean to most people? Catastrophe unmitigated. Social revolution. The cultured aristocrat yanked out of his hyper-exclusively ultra-voluptuous super-palazzo and dumped into an incredibly vulgar detention camp swarming with every conceivable species of undesirable organism. If most people were to be born twice, they'd probably call it dying. You and I are not snobs. We can never be born enough. We are human beings for whom birth is a supremely welcomed mystery, the mystery of growing, the mystery which happens only and whenever we are faithful to ourselves. You and I wear the dangerous looseness of doom and find it becoming. Life for eternal us is now, and now is too busy being a little more than everything to seem anything, catastrophic included. Life for most people simply isn't. Take the so-called standard of living. What do most people mean by living? They don't mean living. They mean the latest and closest plural approximation to singular prenatal passivity, which science, in its finite but unbounded wisdom, has succeeded in selling their wives. If science could fail a mountain's a mammal, most people's wives can spot a genuine delusion of embryonic omnipotence immediately and will accept no substitutes. Luckily for us, a mountain is a mammal. The plus or minus movie to end moving. The strictly scientific parlor game of real unreality. The tyranny conceived in misconception and dedicated to the proposition that every man is a woman and any woman a king hasn't a wheel to stand on. What their most synthetic, not to mention transparent majesty, Mrs. and Mr. Collective Fetus, would in probably call a ghost, is walking. He isn't an undream of anesthetized impersons, or a cosmic comfort station, or a transcendentally sterilized, looky-soundy, feely-tasty, smelly. He is a healthily complex, a naturally homogeneous citizen of immortality. The now of his each pitying, free, imperfect gesture is any birth or breathing, insults perfected informality, millenniums of slavishness. He is a little more than everything. He is democracy. He is a lie. He is ourselves. Miracles are to come. With you, I leave a remembrance of miracles. They are by somebody who can love and who shall be continually reborn. A human being. Somebody who said to those near him when his fingers would not hold a brush, tie it into my hand. Nothing proving or sick or partial. Nothing false. Nothing difficult or easy or small or colossal. Nothing ordinary or extraordinary, emptied or filled, real or unreal. Nothing feeble and known or clumsy and guessed. Everywhere, tints, childrening, innocent, spontaneous, true. Nowhere possibly what flesh and impossibly such a garden, but actually flowers which breasts are among the very mouths of light. Nowhere hating or to fear, shadow, mind without soul. 
only how measureless cool flames of making, only each other building always distinct selves entirely opening, only alive, never the murdered finalities of where, when, and yes, no, impotent non-games of wrong right and right wrong, <sighs> never to gain or pause, never the soft adventure of undoom, greedy anguishes of inexistence, never to rest and never to have, only to grow. Always the beautiful answer who asks a more beautiful question.